what could be working problem number two now, and certainly I'm gonna to try to visualize this. Um, and some people say, I visualize them different than you, and that's fine. But the first thing I do is I kind of draw a horizontal line. It may not be the best approach to the problem, by the way, but it's, a problem, it's the approach I take. So I'm gonna put a horizontal line down over here. All right, then the question is I'm reading is, is an airplane leaves a runway? Well, it leaves a runway at an angle of 11 degrees, all right? So I'm gonna do that over here. I'll put 11 degrees down. You notice I'm using a ruler to do that, and the ruler also has a protractor built into it. And a lot of rulers do, by the way, especially electronic rulers. So I'll put this over here, and what I wanna do is I wanna uh, tell you that this angle over here, I measured it to be, you know, approximately 11 degrees, all right? So I'm um, keep reading, it says, you know, when an airplane leaves a runway, its angle of climb is 11 degrees, and it's ground speed, all right? It's ground speed. I wanna point out what ground speed is. Ground speed is the speed um, that would be measured on the ground. And what does it say? It's 312, this is the ground speed, this is the speed, feet per second. That's not its air speed, by the way. That's its ground speed, it's being measured. All right, so every second it goes 312 feet forward, all right? It says, how long would it take? I hope you realize when someone says that, they're asking about the time, right? And what do they want to do? They want to get it to an altitude. Let me just pull this over here. I'm going to say an altitude over here. And let me put that down, 90 degrees. That's with respect to the ground. That's a right triangle, by the way. Let me get rid of the rule. I'm kind of done with that. And this is a right triangle. And this is the altitude and I'm gonna you know, call the altitude, for whatever reason, you call it what you want, but I'm gonna call it A. And what's A gonna be? Well, the A is gonna be 21,000 feet. All right? I gotta start talking about, oh, this is feet, by the way. What this um, dimension is on the, on the ground, all right? And the dimension on the ground has to do with time. And if it's going 300 feet per second, I know this distance is related to the time. And what's that gonna be? Well, I hope you re realize just from basic courses that distance would be rate times time. So I'm gonna put that down on the, on the, uh, the bottom over here. It's my thing over here, right? So I'm gonna write this down as, it would be 312 T, and that would be in feet. With the understanding that T is time in seconds. All right, I'm kind of looking at it and what I'm gonna do over here is I wanna get the T. How would I do that? I have to relate those two sides. And the way to relate those two sides, I'm gonna say an obvious relationship would be the tangent. Now again, if this is an exam question, this is what we'd be looking for from you. And then we'll talk about the answer we wanna see from you. So what, what is it gonna be? Well, the uh, opposite is 21,000 feet. I'm not gonna put feet down. And the bottom is 212 feet. Feet would actually cancel off, by the way. By the way, again, I know T is a time in seconds. Uh, the, the big question is, can you solve that? And you can, you can solve that for T. Let me go through it with you slowly, though. I'm gonna multiply both sides by 312 T. And I'm gonna solve for T now. How do you do that? Divide by its coefficient. So T would equal 21,000 over 312. And we'd also be divided by 10 of 11 degrees. The unit on this is in seconds. If this is an exam question, this is the answer you'd write down. I do wanna recommend you start using calculators to approximate these numbers. What do you do on a calculator? Pipe, pipe it in. Type to 21,000, divide it by 312 degrees, and divide by 11 degrees. And your calculator should be in degree mode, by the way. If you do that, you should get this number over here, all right? But again, on the exams, this is what we're looking for from you, all right? Thank you.